Some young families may be disappointed to hear the city has closed one of the outdoor pools. The top pool close to the entrance of the Lloydminster Outdoor Pool opened just three weeks ago but is now closed because of health and safety concerns. Utmost concern for the public and especially children being in the pool. We certainly don't want anyone to uh, end up with any kind of sickness. So it was to our best interest to shut the pool down, get the fix for the pool and then reopen it when it's uh, when it's safe for everyone to be back in it. The cost to fix the pool and filtration system is still pending. We apologize uh, to all the folks who use the top pool. If they can just bear with us, uh, we certainly appreciate it. And, you know, as we gain more information, we'll certainly get that out to the public and, and make people aware when it's back open again. The outdoor pool will remain open to the public during the summer. Ukrainian culture will be on full display in Vegreville this weekend at the 39th annual Pasenka Festival. This year's events includes a dance competition, pioneer demos, live music and a pierogi eating contest. It is a truly a unique experience where we are trying to bridge the, you know, the, the new culture and the, and the heritage that, that existed of, of course prior to us and, and making it into, a, into a one unique event. The festival draws people from all over and is one of the biggest events of our region. Everyone young, old, bring your children because there's activities for everyone to sample a bit of flavor and taste of Ukrainian past, present and future. The festival starts tomorrow and runs until Sunday evening. A percussion workshop caught the attention of a group of Midwest musicians this past week at Lakeland College. In this week's Arts and Entertainment feature, Gerard Lampau sits down with the accomplished composer. It's said that the sound to accompany visuals is just as critical as the visual itself. Meet Dick Shorey, arranger, composer, percussionist. Over 22 albums under his belt and over 400 album production credits, he's worked with Mancini, Spielberg and Lucas and remains involved with a number of projects at Disney as executive producer. Disney at that point was starting to compromise on the quality of their animation and this group went out to, to maintain the classic look of the Snow Whites and Pinocchios and From the Chicago Symphony to his own percussion pops orchestra, for this gifted musician being in the Midwest to conduct a workshop, it presented a number of challenges. This is a more unusual one uh, because of the wide variance of age groups of students to professionals to uh, composers or wannabe composers. Uh, it's, it's challenging. That snare drum dates back to his days at Ludwig Drum Company. Only five of this gold-plated drum with the shifting lever was ever made. Shorey presented Ringo Starr and the Beatles with one of these drums for their 1964 U.S. tour. He tells us how he honed his skills. In my case, I learned a lot of skills in the Air Force span. We had to do a TV show every week. And so we had to write most of the music. And uh, there's no better lesson than having to do it under fire. He says much has been written about the art of Disney, but nothing on his music. I wrote a book on Disney called The Magical Music of Walt Disney for Mickey's 50th birthday. And this was a collection of 50 years of soundtracks. His next project is to put together an orchestra to produce music for global television and for Lloydminster having such a workshop well these students are just lapping it up. He's teaching us a couple Latin beats and like he has a whole booklet full of Latin beats that we can work on um, and lots of jazz pointers I'm pretty sure too so that's awesome. I personally I really like the snare drum. Uh, it's just I think it's really fun and you can do some really complex stuff on it and I personally have found that there's so many different sounds you can make just the one drum. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News.